coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. Due to a combination of cold temperatures and delayed bus routes, Vigo County Schools are operating on a two-hour delay today. You can find the latest on delays at the bottom of your screen and over on WTHITV.com. During these cold conditions, Indiana State Police say you need to make sure you have your vehicle ready. This includes things like having proper tires on your car, good windshield wipers, and an emergency kit. Police say if you are in an accident, you should stay in your car and call 911. ISP says the most important thing you can do to stay safe is to just slow down. The CDC is tweaking its language of what it means to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19. The definition of being fully vaccinated will remain the same. But the way we talk about our vaccine status may change. The director of the CDC says Americans should focus on if they are up to date with their COVID-19 vaccine. A person who is considered up to date has received all the vaccines they're eligible for at that time. Anyone who is currently eligible for a vaccine or booster shot would be considered not up to date. If you receive the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines, you can get a five month or a booster after five months of your last dose. For Johnson & Johnson, you can get a booster after two months. A question about raising property taxes to improve schools has been certified for the May ballot in Vigo County. The question voted on last week by the Vigo County School Board has received almost 1500 signatures. That's almost three times what's needed to be certified. The school corporation says this is the first step in getting this proposal implemented. The Terre Haute Chamber of Commerce is pushing back its annual city update. This year's update with Mayor Duke Bennett was set for this Thursday. Now the event will take place on Thursday, February 24th. Mayor Bennett will recap the city's progress in 2021 while detailing his plans for 2022. The update will start at 830 that morning. You can register now to watch the address on WTHITV.com. The Sealyville Fire Department tells us it is in desperate need of volunteers. The chief deputy tells us volunteers will go through the same training as people working for a paid department. If you're interested in being a volunteer firefighter, you can pick up an application at the Sealyville Fire Department Mondays through Fridays. You can also call the station. We have that number on our website, WTHITV.com. Cold again today. We're going to be in the mid 20s with mostly sunny skies. Our temperatures are going to rise slowly today, so expect most of the day uh, low temperatures to be the main impact. So if you have to do anything outside, it's just not going to get comfortable until much later. And even then we're only in the mid 20s. Now tonight, very cold, three degrees, wind chill below zero uh, by tomorrow morning. Once we hit that, you know, three degree line where we're getting close to zero, wind chill is actually going to be closer to negative 10 as our winds try to die down later in the day. So it's going to be uncomfortably cold, dangerous for some. Be careful tomorrow morning. Plan ahead for this now. Tomorrow, right around 20 degrees. And you know, our temperatures are going to be even lower tomorrow afternoon than they are this afternoon, with temperatures climbing into the mid 30s by Thursday. All right.